guys and here I am back on YouTube I thought I would come in here and film now that I have access to a camera from my sister's best friend which I so appreciate also I just want to mention that my videos are going to be in sign language as well I'm going to have a recorded version in the little box on the screen here which is super awesome bringing accessibility to a lot more people also I just want to say if you'd like to see how I created this look today then just keep on watching thanks guys Alright, so first I'm going to be using the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector by Becca. I find this one really great because it does um, hide all my pores, definitely around like the cheeks, the nose, that type of deal. So I'm just going to take a little bit, rub it between my fingers because I feel like once it heats up it's just a little bit better. And then just press it into the skin wherever you want those pores to be minimized. I do have oily skin. So definitely concentrate on my chin, nose, just around here, and my forehead. Whew, and it is hot in here. Perfect. So after I've done my primer, I want to go ahead and pick what type of foundation I'm going to be using depending on the weather, what I'm going to be doing later, all that jazz. So today I'm going to be mixing two shades. The first one is Terra Nouveau in Light Zero and I say more teas in a medium one just because I do have a spray tan and um, I just got back from Mexico so mixing the two will give me that perfect shade hopefully anyways if not it's only makeup you can just wash it off so just putting a little bit on the back of my hand mixing it together and then we're gonna go ahead in with the Morphe I believe it's the M439 brush the buffing brush yep M439. So mix that together and then just go ahead, chin, cheeks, nose. I don't like to put it all over the face at once because I find this foundation does dry a little bit quicker. Um, also it's the Velvet Matte Skin Tint, just so you know. I do like their moisturizers as well, the, what is it, the Tinted Moisturizers. Those ones are pretty good for super hot days here in Toronto. So just go ahead and buff that into the skin. A big difference on my pasty white skin. Chin. Also blend it down my neck because the spray tan is wearing off. So go ahead. It has been a while since I last filmed. For here on YouTube. Life has been crazy busy. Finishing up school. I teach swimming. So lots of that going on. But now that I have access to a camera, there's no reason why I can't be filming some more YouTube videos. Put some here. And finish up with the forehead. Almost forgot that what that was called. <laughs> A little bit on the eyelids. I did recently get my eyelashes done, which I'm absolutely loving. It makes it just so much easier in the morning. You wake up, do your eyebrows, eyelashes are done, and you're kind of good to go. You don't really have to put on any makeup if you don't want to, and you just look put together. So definitely saves a lot of time in the morning. And you always feel fabulous, which is a plus. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good with the coverage for today's look. And I definitely still have some left on the back of my hand. So then after I'm done with my foundation, I like to move in with concealer. I'm currently just using the NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm using Light 2 in vanilla. Um, I find their lighter shade is too light for when I'm super pale, but then this one's kind of perfect for both shades, which is nice. So just go ahead and put some under my eyes. Our neighbor's dog was barking at like six in the morning so definitely gonna conceal some of those dark circles from when I didn't get to sleep very much. Have a little spot and just some on the chin. 
and down my nose. And I don't want to do my forehead just yet because I find it does dry a little bit quickly, so yeah. Okay. Oh, and I'm using the Sephora Pro Artist Concealer Brush number 57. Sometimes I'll use a beauty blender, sometimes I'll use a brush, it all just kind of depends. Today I'll be using a dry beauty blender to set everything. Sometimes I use it dry, sometimes I use it wet. It really depends if I forget to wet it or not. I find it does the exact same. So with this color when I'm tanned, you can definitely see the highlighting effect that it does provide. But then when I'm at my lightest, it's really just my natural skin tone. So there's really no highlighting properties. But the Makeup Forever, I believe it's like, I don't even know, R something. 115, I believe, the lightest shade in the Makeup Forever concealer. That one, you can definitely notice a change in highlighting and such when I'm at my lightest shade. And now I can do the forehead. Alright, so after that is finished, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I found this one's really great. And uh, my Dirty Dry Beauty Blender. Just dip that in. Kind of tap off any excess that you don't really need. And then... Just apply it under my eyes, here, a little on the eyelid because I do get oily eyelids. Pick up some more in the lid, put some on here. I'm pretty messy when it comes to, I wouldn't really say it's baking, but, you know. And some on the chin. I just do these parts first because I don't want the concealer to set right away before I do powder my whole face. And I will use the same beauty blender to just then go in and powder the rest of my face because I'm not doing any cream contours today or liquid contours. If that was the case, then I definitely would powder my face after the fact. So then just go in. Mm -hmm. Or depending, sometimes I use like a, I have, what is it called, one of the Tarte or the Bare Minerals powders, the foundation powders that I would just go in with um, that are slightly tinted that would match the tan, but today I'm just going for a nice easy, same powder everywhere. So once that is finished secure the lid because last time I was filming I spilled my powder all over the place. So after that is finished I like to just kind of brush it off with my foundation or my powder brush just so that it doesn't set too quickly. Mm -hmm. There we go. So just gonna pick up this Sephora powder brush. I like to just mix my brushes together. I don't really have specific ones for specific things like this one I'll also use for the blush um, I do have other brushes but I don't know I'm pretty easy going so just tap that in it does have a bit of shimmer I wouldn't say it's glittery by any means anyways I am using the Dare to Bear Eau Naturelle shimmer in 002 which is a new shade by Revlon comes like this with the little brush and we're just going to tap in my powder brush from Sephora, knock off the extra, and then just go in and see what happens. Not bad, not bad. Just get a little more. I am using this kind of like as a bronzer to warm up my face today. I'm not really going to go in in contour today. Um, it's because I don't really feel like it. It's not bad actually, I quite like that. Too bad I have to teach so many later tonight, so it's all just going to come right off when I go into the pool. Next, after I'm done with bronzing or contouring or whichever, I like to move on to the blush. 
I just got this the other day when I was at Sephora with my sister. It's called Sweet On You in number 05. It's long lasting. The blush doesn't really say anything else on here. It's made in France, so that's pretty cool. So it is from Sephora and it looks like this. It's like a pinky coral, good for summertime. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush, pick up some of that and tap off the excess. Hopefully it looks well. I haven't used it yet, so here we go. Oh, that's not so bad. Bit pink. I don't really wear this color often, but woo! That is a bright. Uh, anyways, go in and pick up some more for the other cheek. Swirl it around, dust off the extra. Ooh, don't know if I like that. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna try and fix this. And maybe let's kind of blend that out a little. There. That's not so bad, is it? There we go. Perfect. I like that a lot better. So definitely don't go in with a lot if you don't like big bright red cheeks like myself. But this is a gorgeous color nonetheless. I just need a little more practice with it. So after blush, I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to go in with the Sephora Pro Smoky Crease um, brush. And then I'm going to be using, I use this color all the time. It's my go-to. Um, it's the MAC Always Sunny. I love this color. It's kind of like a warm, taupey brown type color, and I find it really goes well with my tan, also when I am at my fairest. So just gonna put that kind of all over the lid, up into my crease. Oh, one of my eyelashes fell. No. Anyways, I just got them done. Well, not just, about almost a week ago. Whew. Blend that out. You can kind of already see a difference in the two eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some more for the left eye. Dump off the extra and sweep this kind of all over the eyes. Sometimes I go in with a lighter shade when I am tanned, but this is definitely my everyday go-to ride or die eyeshadow. And I find it looks fine even if you just wear it by itself. You can kind of build up the corners and make it kind of like a smoky eye but using all the same color which is super awesome. So after that is finished, I haven't decided which palette I want to use next. I have been reaching for the Naked Urban Decay Basics um, just here. Super awesome. They have kind of like a range of all shades. This one was really great. I did take it in Mexico as well as I took the Milani, what is it called? Number two, Bare Necessities, which they're basically the same to be honest, but you can never have too many eyeshadow palettes when you go away. So there are these two, which I find they're both very similar, except this one has kind of a brighter, shimmery inner corner eyebrow highlight that I like to mix these two together. Um, it's super flattering, especially when I have a tan and then they show up a little bit better, but um, I think I'm going to go in with the Basics by Urban K. So I'm just going to go in with the same brush that I just used, the Pro Smoky Crease by Sephora, and I'm going to pick up Naked 2, this one just right here. Just put some on the end of my brush, tap off the extra, and this one's kind of be like a messy but also glittery smoky eye, I think so gorgeous oh my goodness i just want to use all of these colors all of the time and they're super pigmented i definitely always go for this one or this one i've used this one quite a lot i haven't really doubled in any of these i find them more fall colors but who really cares anyways back to our naked two by urban decay just gonna put that on the eyelids in the outer corner upper crease just kind of Make it a little smoky. I do have a bit of hooded eyes, so sometimes I do bring my crease up a little bit. All 
At first I was super worried that I would knock off my eyelashes, but so far they've been holding strong when I've been doing my eye makeup. Definitely when I do remove my eye makeup though, I'm super careful. Um, just because I don't want to rip any off, of course. So after that is finished, I'm actually just going to kind of leave it at that and then add in a little bit of glitter. Let's see. What color should we use today? And what brush should I use today? We will go in with this shade just right here. And I'm going to be using some Max, MAC Fix Plus on my brush as well. So I'm just going to dip that in to the, from, or, sorry, the eyeshadow. And then just, it's locked. <laughs> and just give it a couple spritz. And let's hope this works. Do this eye first. We're just gonna place it in the middle. Ooh, so glittery. I wonder how long this would last in the pool. I'm gonna test that out today. I'm not gonna bother taking off my makeup before I teach. And then after, I wanna see how long it lasts. Doesn't look half bad. Actually, I quite like it. Probably shouldn't have brought it in so close, but such is life. And then I'm just going to go back in with that Sephora crease brush, but I put it here. And just kind of blend out the corners a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Blend it. Aha! That looks great. So then I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow, pick up more of that color, and then I'm going to spritz it with some Max, MAC Fix Plus. I can't talk today. And then I'm just going to go in and do the other eye. And this one, I'm really not too worried about how messy or how clean it looks, just because messy's kind of my style for today. Go ahead and kind of blend that out. The same pro brush. Definitely helps to have my eyelashes already done because I can kind of see what the finished eye look would look like with mascara on because sometimes when I'm not wearing mascara I'm like ooh that looks funky and then I put on mascara and it looks a hundred times better so we're gonna leave it like that and we're just gonna move on to my eyebrows I don't really do anything super fancy I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills to eyebrows draw the line underneath and then just go in and They're a little bit dark today but and thick, but we'll just go with it. I'm just going to go in and fill in the rest of the brows off camera and I'll be back in a sec. So my brows are finished. I think they're looking more like sisters than twins, but oh well. Then I'm going to go in with the Milani, the O2 Bare Necessities, which I was talking about before. And I'm just going to pick up, actually I use a lip brush by Sephora just to kind of get right in there. It is the Pro Lip in 81, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one, a little bit of this, top off the extra, and then I'm just gonna go in and highlight the inner corners as well as the brow bone. Put that here. I find this makes like a world of a difference. And then the extra. Going in and highlighting my brow bone here. More here, perfect. Then you can go ahead and do your under eyes. And I'm just gonna go back into the first color that we used, the Always Sunny by MAC, and I'm just gonna get a flat brush. And tap, tap, tap. I like to tap a little bit off my hand before I go in just because I don't want to have too much and then I'm just going to do the outer corner of my eye. Mm, 
perfect. I did forget mascara upstairs in my room just for the bottom lashes, but definitely looking good so far. And then lastly, let me think, we have highlighter and um, just like a lip product. So I'm going to be going in with the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. The highlighting palette has been used quite a little bit here. So we're going to actually mix these two together for Psycho Pop and Champagne Pop. Just because I find it gives a really awesome, nice glow, especially when I'm nice and tanned. So go ahead and apply that to the apples of my cheek. Ooh, highlight is on bleak today. Go ahead in the other side. I like to swipe it over my cheeks at least once or twice. That is a crazy glow. Then next, last but not least, we're gonna be going in with our lip products. Now I have highlighter over oh, my luminance. And today I'm just gonna be going in with the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. This one is definitely one of my all-time favorites. It has a little bit of glitter in it. It's kind of like the perfect like nude for everyday lip gloss. It is a pretty penny, but it was worth it and I had a gift card so it wasn't too bad. So just gonna apply that. This sugar sugar also looks really great over top of lip, um, a liquid lipstick. I was gonna use the Naked by Honest Out of Beverly Hills but decided to just go with the gloss instead. Here we go. And last but not least I'm gonna set all of our hard work with the Urban Decay all nighter makeup setting spray. It's oil free, which is awesome because I do have oily skin, as well as oil will break down the glue on my fake eyelashes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and spray that everywhere. And then, once it is all dry, you're good to go. And that is basically the end of this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me back here on YouTube. Also, I'm going, all my videos are going to be in sign language as well, so I'm going to be recording that in just a couple minutes. Thanks guys for watching, I really do appreciate it. I know it was a little rusty, a little bit long, but when I'm filming a little bit more, more often, I'm sure I'll get back into the groove of things. So, anyways, I'd like to just shout out and say thank you so much for you guys watching. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.